Hello everyone, Suzette Samuj here, BlueWorks Live product architect, and this is the release overview for our upcoming BlueWorks Live release, expected to go live on March 27, 2021. This release of BlueWorks Live lets you maximize your screen real estate and work more effectively in, mul in multiple browser tabs. The new full view feature enables users to increase their process diagramming and map work areas, and several panels can now be easily minimized with a single click. Users can multitask more effectively now by leveraging multiple browser tabs. You can now right click on artifact links to open the target artifact in another browser tab, and editors can copy process items across browser tabs. Let's take a look at all of this in more detail. First, let's talk about what you can now do to manage your diagramming screen real estate. When working with processes, BlueWorks Live users can now increase the vertical real estate available to them. Click on the new full view button that's available at the top right of the screen to do so. When clicked, BlueWorks Live will hide its header and footer sections and the process will fill the additional vertical space, as you can see in the picture here. When you wish to return to the regular view, simply use the Escape keyboard key, or click the Exit button that floats into view when you move your mouse to the top right corner of the screen. We've also provided some additional keyboard shortcuts to help make you more efficient. The Full View feature is available to editors, viewers, contributors, and to any user really who has access to a process. It's available on the Map view, on the Diagram view, and the Documentation view. And if, you, if you're in full view mode and you traverse to a linked process, that process will also open in full view mode. Full view is also available when you're in, an, in analysis mode and playback mode. When in playback mode, you can find the button in the playback control panel, which is at the bottom of the screen. To provide additional flexibility, we've made it easier for you to quickly collapse panels that you're not interested in at this particular moment. As an example, here you can see a process diagram that's open in view mode. With just one click, you can collapse the right panel, allowing you to focus exclusively on the diagram if that's what you desire. Once collapsed, we'll remember that preference for the duration of your login session, even as you switch from one process to another process. Now, if you instead prefer to resize the panel as you did in the past, that capability still exists. Simply drag the divider as before instead of clicking the Collapse button. You'll see these quick collapse buttons as you open various artifacts, such as processes, decision diagrams, and policies. Try combining this with the full view mode to customize your, your working area. Now, a pro tip. Did you know that Firefox, Chrome, and Edge all come with a built-in full-screen mode? That mode hides the browser location bar, the browser menu and toolbar, and such. It's actually very handy when you need to focus on work and do away with other visual distractions, such as when you're presenting or walking an SME through the process. To see it in action, hit F11 to enter and F11 again to exit. That same shortcut works on all browsers. Try combining that with BlueWorks Live's full view feature, then collapse one or more panels, and here you have tons more process diagramming real estate with just two to three quick clicks. We hope you find this useful. Now, moving on, let's look at what we're doing to help you multitask. First up, working in multiple browser tabs is now officially supported. This allows you to open multiple BlueWorks Live artifacts at the same time and to quickly switch between them. Now, we recognize that some users were actually already doing this, but that pattern wasn't officially supported before now, and as such, it didn't always work well. For example, one problem they might have noticed was unexpected or seemingly frequent logouts, which occurred because each tab operated independently of the other. And while you might be actively working on one tab, the system might register you as inactive on another tab and would then log you out. This is now addressed with this release, and you should be able to effectively work with BlueWorks Live in multiple browser tabs going forward. But here's an important note. This capability utilizes a browser feature called local storage. 
and relies on it being enabled. Now, local storage is actually enabled by default on Chrome, Firefox, and Edge, and it's often tied to your cookie settings, which means it very likely is already enabled on your system. But if you'd like to be sure and would like to check your browser setup, the steps vary somewhat from browser to browser. You can find instructions with a quick web search, but we will also include some quick instructions to help you in the release blog. Now that you can use multiple browser tabs, we've made it easier to do so. Where you have a link that allows you to navigate from one artifact to another artifact, you now have access to a right-click menu that will allow you to open the target artifact in another browser tab. For example, you can do this when opening a linked process. As seen in the picture, simply right-click on the link and select Open in New Tab. You can then have the source process open in one tab and the linked process in its own browser tab. If you then use the breadcrumb to return to the first process, Bluerx Live will actually try to take you back to the first tab. Similarly, if you right click on a link here to a glossary value, Bluerx Live will allow you to open another browser tab into the glossary. If you repeat that action with another of these glossary value links here, Bluerx Live will reuse the tab that's already open for the glossary, simply updating it so the second glossary value scrolls into view. This right-click feature is also available within the Where Use dialog, and over time you can expect to see it show up in more places throughout the product. But a disclaimer, Bluerx Live respects your browser settings and will only do what the browser and you allow it to do. There is some variation in what different browsers allow, and even the way in which you've customized your specific browser might impact how this feature behaves somewhat. So, as an example, take Firefox. When you open a new browser tab, Firefox has a setting that controls whether it will automatically switch to the new tab. It's actually off by default. If it is, Bluerx Live will continue to open the tab, but it just wouldn't be able to automatically switch your view to that tab. All that means is that you just might need to manually switch tabs yourself on occasion. So just something to keep in mind as you use this feature. And last, but certainly not least, you can now copy process elements from a process that's open in one browser tab and insert them into a process that's open in another browser tab. Both, both tabs must of course be on the same browser instance. We hope this will make these kinds of cross-process copy actions much easier and more efficient. Before I wrap up, I'd like to bring your attention to a new documentation page we're introducing, which will list deprecated product features. Note that the link shown here will be live as of March 27th. Features are deprecated when they're replaced by newer features that provide more flexibility, security, or better performance, or when major structural changes are planned that make it impossible to support older features. Unless explicitly stated otherwise, you can rely on the feature being available and supported for at least two releases after we've declared its deprecation. But please don't wait. We encourage you to discontinue your use of the feature as early as you can. And so do please check this page with every release to help you to help remind you to do so. The What's New blog that we put out with every release will contain a pointer to the page. And so to summarize, this release of Bluerx Live lets you maximize your screen real estate and work more effectively in multiple browser tabs. The new full view feature lets users increase their available working space with process diagrams and maps, and several panels can now be easily minimized with a single click. Users can multitask more effectively by leveraging multiple browser tabs. You can now right click on many artifact links to open the artifact in another browser tab, and editors can copy from a process that's open in one browser tab to a process in another browser tab. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you as always for using Blueworks Live, and we hope this find you find this release valuable.